there are two laws governing the distribution of plants and animals one is called as shelford's law of tolerance s h e l f o r d shelford's law of tolerance okay aapke answer mein ye zyada dikhana rather than the list of factors shelford's law kya kehta hai it says it says if on the y axis we are plotting population and on the x axis i am plotting the gradient of a physical factor say temperature ka gradient ya fir rain ka gradient theek hai so this is best condition this is increase this is decrease the best condition is say 37 parts per thousand salinity this is increasing salinity this is decreasing salinity if the best condition is a temperature of 18 degree centigrade this is increasing temperature this is decreasing temperature so if you plot population with this the graph typically looks like this mathematics mein ya science mein we call this as normal graph or called as the bell graph bolte hain isko is called as normal distribution okay jahan par best optimum conditions hain wahan par you have maximum population you move away from it there is a zone okay of stress and then there is a zone of intolerance isko bolte hain this is called as the zone of tolerance life form yahan best hoga survive but they can survive this range this is called as zone of stress and this is called as zone of intolerance they'll die here this is the zone of intolerance shelford's law in terms of population plot against the gradient of physical factors yes is graph ko bolte any graph jisme ye pattern aata hai is called as a bell graph is also called as normal distribution this is the best condition the ideal condition you move away from this a zone of tolerance the number is less but they can survive a zone of stress and the zone of intolerance population on this side population this is a gradient of physical factors this is the best ideal conditions now write down the graph depicts how the population of a species varies the graph depicts how the population of a species varies in a gradient of physical factors